Hello everybody, today we're going on an adventure. Now during lockdown, obviously you couldn't go into cafes and sit down. Something that I love so much is just sitting in a cafe. I love the vibe, I love the ambiance. I love, you know when it's got like background cafe music and then you're hearing just like the gentle chatter of people. I love, I just love cafes. So I'm gonna do a little thing. And we're gonna go on a little cafe tour of everywhere I've been wanting to go. And we're gonna start off at the Pottery Cafe because basically I had this plate that I made for my mum and I smashed it. I dropped it on the floor. And I wanna go back to the Pottery Cafe and make a new one. Also, I'm in my new favorite tracksuit. This, right here, look at this. Get a load of this. Um, it's so comfy, it's from 100 Club and I absolutely flipping love it. Highly recommend. It's perfect for a cozy cafe hopping day by myself. Don't worry guys, I know you wanna go and do this pottery cafe now, but I'm actually just doing my washing and then we'll be on the road. How does that sound, all right? It is absolutely grim outside, which is perfect for a cafe crawl. Wait, do I have any tissue? Because I keep hitting nosebleeds. I, I have tissues. We're all good. Right, let's get the maps up. Googly, googly maps. I don't know how people lived. I know it's very naive of me. And it's so, uh, am I millennial? I don't know why I am. Am I millennial? Am I Gen Z? I'm born in 97. So I feel like I'm one of those cuspers that could go either way. But I don't understand how people ever did navigate without google maps or a sat nav because my sense of direction is atrocious but is it atrocious because i rely on google maps hey such a valid point grace you raise a valid point right guys we're here i'm just going to pay for parking Woo -hoo! and then we're going to go and paint some pots I am so sad. I don't know why I feel emotional. I just had the best time painting my pottery. I'm really happy with what I made. Um, but she's closing down. I've been to this pottery cafe for years and years. It's like, if any of my friends are like, do you want to do something? It's I, I, it's not that super close to me. It's like 45 minutes away. But it's where all my friends live, because I used to live here. Um, and they're shutting down on the 31st of July. I'm really sad for her. Um, so I had a little chat and it's just quite sad. But it's okay, we made our pottery, I'm glad we came. And now I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna like try and fit in as many sessions as I can before it starts because I want all my friends to like support her. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to a different cafe now because I didn't actually drink anything because I was just so in the zone there. I think I'm gonna go to this one that there's quite a few around. It's called Unico Gelato. Um, and this one's actually the best rated in the area, the best cafe. So let's go and see. I've never, I've only ever been for gelato. And that was like two, three years ago. So let's go and see what I've got to offer. Maybe get a snack and a drink. Right guys, we are here about to go to Unico Gelato. There is a big fat storm cloud. Look at that. Can you see it? Big juicy storm cloud. And does Grace have a coat? No. Let's get some. Maybe I will get gelato. I'm kind of in the mood for it. Okay, so off to cafe number two, which was the Unico Gelato. This had immaculate vibes, I'm not gonna lie. No one else was in there. They had a bit of gentle music in the background, which is my favorite. They've got all the gelato and then they have quite a lot of gluten-free and vegan options as well. Went for a soya breakfast tea. Here we are, a little stir. And then I got this chocolate cake brownie thing. I really, really enjoyed it. She popped it in the microwave for me so it went a little bit warm and melty. And I, one of my favorite things to do is when you've nearly finished the cake and then you collect the crumbs on the back of the fork because they all like stick together. I can't explain the joy that that brings me. I see I'm doing it right now. And then I have my tea, just chilled out out zend in the cafe right guys i just got back from my time at unico gelato flip i love cafes it was a really good time and i got this little thing that i've never had before this she called it a chocolate brownie cake thing when i asked what it was and it was good i don't know what it is about cafes it just feels like everyone's in there just chilling 
you know what I mean? Like so much goes on in a cafe and I love it. Anyway, um, I think next up we're gonna venture to the London ones because I don't really, because I feel like the London ones have some real good ones. Makes me wanna open my own cafe, honestly. She would be too stressed to open a cafe, I think, because honestly, hats off to people who work in hospitality and catering and stuff, because that's a lot of, pre you're dealing with people's food and people are funny about food, anyway. After the fresh mint tea, we decided to get some pastries, but also test out their clay baked oven. Oh my days, the pastries are fantastic. My dad, we bought one home for him, and he said it was the best almond croissant that he has ever had in his whole entire life. It is Bad boy that is, look at that oozing almond paste. Nothing better than croissant that's actually got almond paste in it. There's a lot in that, guys. And there's a lot, which is good. Yeah. As I say about cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls need cinnamon in them, so you can taste the cinnamon. Guess what? They're called cinnamon. And this one, same deal. Almond croissant, it's got almonds in it. And it tastes almondy. Good. Really good. It is, isn't it? Maybe the best almond croissant you've ever had. Probably. Oh, look. Just everywhere you go is almonds. <laughs> That's what you need. Look, there is a lot of almond in there. It's just... It's just right, is it? Mm. It's like jam-packed with filling. Look at that. It's just fantastic. Really enjoyed it. The avocado we weren't sure about. It was very flavoursome. But in hindsight, we probably, got, probably should have got like the flatbread with the egg or something like that. But look at that almond croissant. Down the road is a very Instagrammable cafe that I feel like you will have all seen on your timeline, which is called Peggy Portions. And I've always wanted to go and to see if it lives up to the hype. They basically do cakes, but in a really, really cute, like pink cafe. And Anna got the iced coffee. I got this berry tea, which was really, really good. Really expensive though, four pounds. Probably wouldn't spend four pounds on it. And we also shared a cloud cake. Now, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm here to give an honest review, the cake, it's not very good. I would not be getting that cake again. Um, but it was it was okay. It was just a bit dry. I feel like it had been sat around for a little while. But the drinks were really good. Honestly, said it was a really, really good iced coffee. And the vibes were kind of immaculate. It was really nice and airy. And again, the staff, 10 out of 10. Then we walked onwards and upwards to our next cafe. Hello everyone, hello friends. We've just been to um, Peggy Portions. Mm. We weren't actually that bowled over by the cakes, but the beverages were great. <sighs> beverages off the chart, off the chart. Look at that. Wow, look at it. Where are we going to next? Um, we are going to, oh, Anya Cafe. Anya cafe. Cafe. Have you seen it? I haven't. It's I... something to get a talk. Right. I need to check the Google Maps, so we'll see you when we're at Anya, which I don't really, I'm actually quite full. <laughs> Teacher, but it could be all the beverages we've had. I did have about four mugs of peppermint tea at the first place, mm. which, what do we say about that? I really like that place. Was it mm. Chestnut? Chestnut Bakery. Um, they gave us a blooming free croissant they at did. the end. Big chunky almond one too, yeah. you should see the flakes, honestly. Yeah. It kind of looks like a hedgehog. Yes, yeah. it's really big boy. <laughs> right, are you ready? Let's go to Anya. Anya Cafe looks quite unsuspecting from the outside, but just listen to us getting so excited about the cakes. Oh, these are fun! These look, are at these. Look, at these. look at these little things! I was obsessed with the cakes and pastries here. They were right up my street. They were so cute. Like, look at this cute little chocolate Guinness cake. I'm not sure about the interior. The interior, I know, was trying to be like that kind of trendy old school vibe, but it's not my kind of style. I think the cakes and everything else was immaculate, but the style of the actual cafe wasn't my vibe. But they were so, so friendly here, and the cakes were flipping delicious, which you'll see later, because I bought a box home for my family to try. And now we're going underground to go to our next location off we go to 
I don't even know what the name is. My darling angel, the name is Bafarat. I don't know how you pronounce it. And this was vibes. I don't know why this wasn't busier. This was so empty, but it was really, really good. And it was cool that you see these pastries and the cookies that I just showed, they get a blowtorch and like melt the stuff on top of it. But I was in a savory mood because we'd had a lot of sweet at this point. So I got a little cheese and olive pastry because your girl loves olives. I'm just so obsessed with olives. Anyway, it was really, really nice in here. Again, good stuff. Not any of the stuff that we encountered during this time were bad. Literally every stuff was so nice. Maybe it's because we were in the morning and, you know, good vibes in the morning. You're not tired at the end of the day. But this is the Vibey Vibey Cafe and they have a nice little bit of water so you can just help yourself. And I love that because I'm always so flipping parched. All right, guys, I'm currently in the toilet. This is so flipping nice. It's, I don't know why this hasn't, I've not seen this on like anyone else's Instagrams. I literally typed in best uh, cafes in London. 10 out of 10 guys, I highly recommend. It's really nice, the staff nice. I feel like there could be a few more bits on the menu, like more savory. I tried a little cheese, olive, croissant something. It was nice, yeah, it was good. Um, but the actual vibes, immaculate. Because sometimes Instagram places aren't actually that nice. Right. I'm trying to work out where to go next. I really don't know because honestly, leaving me now. Um, but the thing is, I was gonna go to this coffee place, but I don't drink coffee. And apparently it's got the best coffee, so I don't wanna go. And then I won't be able to test the coffee and see how good it is. But we can go to one more place, but then I am stuffed. You're gonna have to run me home. All right, guys, we have done our time in the cafes. And now I'm gonna actually go to the Selfridges food hall because apparently it pops off in there. So let's go and give it a try. I won't lie, going to Selfridges does absolutely terrify me because it's just like such a different world in there. It's literally a different world. But I feel like safe in the food hall, you know. And here is a wild grace, absolutely petrified of Selfridges. I went into the food hall, but nothing was really tickling my fancy other than these fun little brioche rolls in loads of different flavours. And again, I just get so roped in by all of the different stuff from around the world that I've never seen before. Also, look at these crackers. They're the biggest flipping crackers I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm about to go and pick up a too good to go box from this cafe near us. I'm really excited because they have cinnamon rolls that my dad loves and I just feel like it's gonna be a good, too good to go bag. I really hope it is anyway. I actually should really get ready to go now. Banksy wants to say hi to everyone. Just getting a bit of camera time. Right, settle down, darling, because I'm actually going. So I just went to collect my Too Good To Go order. And if you didn't know, Too Good To Go is basically an app that you can use. I've done a full video doing Too Good To Go, which you can click the link in, the, in my description box to find it. And you basically, it's at the end of the day when restaurants like have food that is going off and instead of putting it and throwing it away when it's like perfectly good food, you basically can go and buy it for like a really good price. So I went to this cafe, which is the cafe that my dad loves, absolutely loves the cinnamon rolls at. So we've got the goods here. Let's see, I haven't looked yet. Let's see what we've got. We've got a box here. I have no idea what's in this box. Thinking some sort of salad. Wow, lemon drizzle. Okay, lovely. I'm gonna have a look at this. This is so good. Okay, my dad is gonna be so happy about this. We have got, is that a Corona? That is a really good deal. Wow, I love that. And it's all freshly baked. That's so good. I actually might bring my sister so she can come and collect something on the way home. Just doing a haul for mum, as I like to do. Don't I, mum? You do. I always like to show you what I've been up to. Four pounds, are you ready? First of all, nice big chunk of lemon drizz. <laughs> Is that one slice? That's one slice That's and it looks really, really good. Side. Look at that. Oh Chonk. Gosh. I think it's a cardamom bun. Don't you think? Smell it. That's cardamom. No, it does smell rather lovely. Yeah. And then I got this for dad. His favorite cinnamon bun. <laughs> he loves these. And then I think this potentially is a cronut? I think that's a cronut. I think that's it's a got strawberries in. Or rhubarb. I think it's some sort of strawberry jam dug in there. And then, all oh, this four pounds, that's quite good, isn't it? For four pounds? Yeah, that's banana muffin. Yum. Yum. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Do they have stuff And the guy day? was kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> and I actually have some cake from one of the cafes. This is what I've got. 
Anya Cafe. Look at that. Beautiful. And uh, they have, they're all a bit worse for wear. This one's coffee and walnut. This one, I think it's chocolate. And look at this cloud. This is mocha. So let's try them. I also did get a Guinness cake, but we've already tried that obviously in the cafe. All right, this is what we're working with. Let's do internal shots of them all. <gasps> wow, the cloud is not what I thought. This is a mocha. What's going on in here? Oh, it's kind of like moussey. Mocha mousse and a bit of sponge. And then this is the coffee walnut. Do do. Oh, I feel mean cutting it in half. Wow. This is, I don't even know what this is. This is going to be interesting. You see? Little sponge lays and chocolate. So there's a lot in here. Let's try them. Right, guys, I'm going for the cloud because the cloud has my heart. If you like coffee, you'll like that. It's really good. It's moist. It's light. Very light and whipped. And you've got the strong coffee taste. There's a lot happening in there. Let's try the little chocolate monster. Sweet mother of pearl. It's the best chocolate bar cream I've had in years. So good. Let's try the coffee and walnut. Although coffee again. But I like coffee and walnut. Not a super strong of coffee. Mmm. They're so good. Guys, I love that place. I will definitely be going back. The buttercream is so good. It's so like whippy and light. Does anyone want to try some cake? Yes! Do you want to try any? I'll just have a cup of coffee. Oh. What did you think of the Guinness cake? It was nice, I see. Yeah. Grace! Oh, oh no! Oh, you silly girl. What are you yeah. saying about the coffee and walnut? That Nothing. dropped on the floor. He does not care. Oh no, what are you saying about any of those? I've only tried the chocolate, chocolate buttercream, the little monster. What's, what's the middle soaked in? Oh, I only got really the outer. Do we not like it? No, I do, but it's just different. I just want to know what it is. Maybe hazelnut? Did you say chocolate No, it's hazelnut? definitely got something. I know what you mean. Would you eat a cake from Anya again? Yes. What one would you eat? Pistachio. There was no pistachio. <laughs> the walnut one. Yeah? The coffee. Yeah. But a little bit more coffee for me. Yeah. Do they do profiteroles? I do you like have, profiteroles? I'd have the Guinness one again. That is the end of our cafe hopping adventures. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun filming it. It was, it's just very calming. I just love cafes. I do. There's no, there's no doubt about it. Um, and I hope you're all well and having a fab, fab Monday.